Hey on guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on C++ programming. Now in this video tutorial, we'll be looking into a programming problem wherein we'll perform some arithmetic operations. So up until now, if you've been following this playlist, you must have got a brief idea about the fundamentals of C++ that is, we saw the operators, we saw different variables and data types, we also saw the control structures that is the if-else control structure, switch case and different types of loops. So let's use these fundamental concepts to create a program. So let me just switch to the programming problem. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I've written the question in the comment and that is write a program to perform arithmetic operations on two numbers by creating a menu driven program where user inputs a number from one to five and each number corresponds to a particular arithmetic operation. So in this case, we'll be presenting the user with a menu with five different options and the number one will correspond to addition, the number two will uh, correspond to subtraction and so on. So according to the number that user enters, we'll take two integer values from the user and perform the appropriate arithmetic operation. So let's start with the program. So as you can see, I have already written the basic template. So you can just open up your ID and type in the following code. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is we need to present the user with a menu. So we need to print something on the screen. So I'll just type C out, which is an object which performs the output operation. So I'll type arithmetic operations program. So I'll type end so that the cursor moves on the next line. Now I type So this will print the sentence enter the operation number to perform the appropriate operation. So I'll type in the five different operations that we are going to perform. One will correspond to addition. Now you know that I can concatenate all the options in just one line by this insertion operator so I don't need to type in C out again and again I just need to put another insertion operator to can concatenate another string okay so I have printed the output that we need to show the user so let me just save this and go ahead and compile and run this to check if it's running properly So as you can see on the screen, I have printed the menu that needs to be shown to the user. So now I need to take the value of an integer or the operation number from the user. So I need to create a variable. Let me just create an integer variable int option number. So according to the option number that user enters, we'll have to perform the appropriate action. So if user enters 1, then we need to perform addition operation. So I type C in and I take the option number from user. So now I have 5 different options and the best way to actually go ahead with these operations is to use a switch case. Now if you have seen the switch case tutorials, it is a control structure which operates on distinct conditions. So it is best suited for this situation because we have five distinct cases wherein the user will enter five different values of integer that is from one to five. And depending on the number he enters, we have to perform that appropriate action. We can also use if else, but switch case is better suited for this condition. So I'll write switch and pass the variable option number in it. And 
ओपन एंड क्लोज करली ब्रेसेस देन आई राइट केस एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू वन सो वेन द यूजर एंटर्स द नंबर वन दिस केस विल रन नाउ बिफोर क्रिएटिंग द स्विच केस आई नीड टू फर्स्ट क्रिएट टू वेरिएबल्स विच द यूजर विल इनपुट एज द टू ऑपरेंट्स सो आई विल क्रिएट टू वेरिएबल्स इन एक्स कॉमा वाई विच वी नीड टू टेक फ्रॉम यूजर टू परफॉर्म द डिफरेंट एडिशन सब्सट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन डिविजन एंड सो ऑन अदर एरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशन सो वेन यूजर एंटर्स नंबर वन विल आस्क द यूजर टू एंटर द टू नंबर्स टू परफॉर्म एडिशन ऑपरेशन ओके सो वॉट आई डिड इज आई फर्स्ट प्रिंटेड द मैसेज एडिशन ऑपरेशन एंड एंटर टू नंबर्स सो एज सुन एज यूजर एंटर्स वन दिस मैसेज विल बी प्रिंटेड दैट इट इज एडिशन ऑपरेशन दैट यू हैव सिलेक्टेड and you need to enter two numbers so at this line we take two numbers from the user as input and to perform the addition operation i'll write see out the addition of x and y is and i can write a compound statement in uh, round brackets that is x plus y so what is happening at this line is we are printing the output without storing the actual addition so it will print whatever the user enters as numbers and it also print the addition without storing its value so this is case 1 and i'll type the break keyword so let's just see how this works i'll just save it and i'll execute it i'll enter the number 1 because we have just Written the case one. As you can see, the case one got executed, and it's it's saying that addition operation is selected, and we need to enter two numbers. So I enter three and four. So as you can see, we also got the answer. The addition of three and four is seven. So this means our program is working perfectly right. let me just print this line below the menu okay now i just need to copy this entire case and paste it five more times okay so this will be case 2 this will be case 3 This will be four. This will be five, and there has to be one more that is default. Now, default case is optional, and it is used when user enters something invalid. So, the option numbers are valid from one to five. But what if the user enters anything except one to five? So, what if the user enters six, seven, or some random number? In that case, we need to show them an error message. So, default case handles that. possibility so case one is done for case two it is a subtraction operation so subtraction of x and y is i just need to change the op operator value over here so it will perform subtraction for the third case it is multiplication and the operator is the star operator which performs multiplication the fourth case is division the slash would perform the division
In the last case is the modulo operator or operation and the person sign performs the modulus operation. And I think we are good to go. So let me just save this again and we'll run this code. Okay, so we got our output. So it has printed arithmetic operations program and the uh, five different options are shown. Now it's asking enter the operation number to perform the appropriate operation. Now this time I select the number two. So uh, that means I need to perform a subtraction operation. So as you can see, the program prints subtraction operation and it is asking to enter two numbers. So I enter five as first number, I click enter and then I type in three. So the result should be two. So as you can see, it has given me the correct answer. The subtraction of five and three is two. So let's try a multiplication this time. I select the option three. I type in two, enter and five. So two five are 10. So there we go with the answer. The multiplication of two and five is 10. Now similarly, we can perform other operations that is division and modulo. One point to remember though is when you perform division operation, the second number should not be zero. Otherwise it will give you an error because you cannot divide any number by zero. So let's see a default case wherein I type in some other random number other than one, one to five. So I'll just execute this and I'll type in seven. Okay, I have not shown the proper message over here. So I'll show the error message as error invalid option number. I'll save this program and I'll again execute, compile and run this. So every time you change the code, you need to compile it again. So I'll type in seven, which is not a valid option number. So as you can see, it gives me an error, which is invalid option number. So this is it guys. This is a program wherein we created a menu driven program, which performs all the arithmetic operations depending upon what user enters. So we use the concept of variables and data types as well as the control structures in this case. And we also use the different types of arithmetic operators. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the entire program. If you have any doubts or queries, you can always put them in the comment section below. Do share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when you upload the next video. Peace.